Hey Libra, welcome on my channel. I'm going to do your October 2021 bonus general reading. Who is coming towards you? What is coming next? What is next overall in your life? Keep an open mind. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading. Everything is given in the description box. So Sun, Moon, Rising or any planets if you have in Libra, you can buy this reading. Especially if you follow Sidereal or Vedic Astrology. Let's see. Energies can be flipped. Roles can be reversed. So just take what resonates with you. Let's start. Libra, what's happening in your love life and overall in your life? What is coming in your way? Who is coming? Let's see. Okay. So we have an eight of wands reverse. Six of pentacles. Okay. We have a six of swords energy. A lot of sixes. So you could be seeing a lot of six. And we also have a balance. This is you. Uh, this is also um, temperance for me. Yeah, it's a temperance. Balance is also the, you know, sign of Libra. We have the bottom of the deck, Wheel of Fortune. Oh, my God. We have a Wheel of Fortune and Knight of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But we have a strong Sagittarius coming in your way. Strong Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, or Rising. Sagittarius energy popping up. Very, very um, strong here. Uh, this person could have a strong Sagittarius in their chart, or you could be dealing with this person. Does not have to be, but yes. Uh, we have a lot of sixes here. So this could be someone coming from the past, because we have an eight of wands reverse here. This is not, this is something, a stock energy that you're connecting with this person, especially fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag. We also have a very good energy popping up here, and Capricorn. Um, and I'm also getting, could be another air sign, like Libra, or Aquarius or Gemini. You could be dealing with Pisces too. Okay. Now, I'm strongly feeling with this Eight of Wands reverse here. So a lot of you, you maybe want to move into a different place or you want to go somewhere, but you can't. Right now, you're stuck in this energy. And for others of you, this could be a stuck energy in your relationship. Like things are not moving forward and you're really frustrated. Or this person could be frustrated because they can't see you. They can't meet you. They can't talk to you. You maybe blocked them or they blocked you. We also have eight of wands reverse. This means that the conversation is not happening. There's no communication at all between you and this person. This is also someone coming back to you um, from the past because I'm seeing with the six of swords, they really want to talk to you. They really want to mend things between you and them. They really want to heal things between you and them with this temperance and six of swords. Yeah, this could be someone that is your soulmate or someone that you saw them as your soulmate like you felt with this definitely it's it's a fortunate it's like universe bring this person to you divine is bringing this person to you with this wheel of fortune and balance because we have the angel presence in your reading so it's a definitely a divine plan here whoever this person is coming in your way are you dealing with currently are the person that you're stuck with and you can't move on from that person but vice versa this could be the person that coming in your way, they can't move on from you. They're stuck on you because there's still some divine connection here with you. Like they really feel like they need to come to you and talk to you. And, and they really need to tell you something. They really need to give you something. This is also someone that you did not had, like things did not go well with this person because things are not moving forward with this person. You were stuck in that the same place or same situation. This is also someone with a six of pentacles. Uh, either you were giving them help financially or they help you financially this could be also a work situation like you met this person on a work situation but i'm strongly feeling this person could be left you for their work they may be leave because of their work in a different city or a different state or they may be in a different country so they choose their work over you but now with the six or so this could be uh, you could be single mother watching this video or this person could be a single parent um does not have to be we have the uh, we'd have the balance here so this person really want to mend things with you they really want balance they really want peace between you and them because they know that the way you both are talking and interacting with each other it's not going going anywhere because not either no neither of one of you are talking to each other like you are like no i don't care and he's like he or she is like i don't care so it's like things are not moving forward because eight of wands is upright it's a firework 
So maybe either you're waiting for this firework, this communication, this expression, this confession, this apology, or whatever you're waiting for, or this could be a good news coming in your way, but it's reverse here. So it's like, it's, it's not a happy time that you're dealing with right now. You're not happy and satisfied um, in love life, or could be this could be uh, you want to go somewhere, like in a different city or state or country for work. You want to go there some for education, maybe. For some of you, this is a work situation here. Like you really want to go into a different country or state. You want to travel for work and job. And for some of you, this could be a spiritual retreat that you're going on to because you really need a time, some family time or some alone time with yourself. You're giving this your time to yourself. So this could be someone coming from the past. Either you have a babies with this person, children with this person, or they're single parents. Does not have to be. And for some of you, this is literally um, could be a single person, but they're coming back to you. This is someone that I'm so I'm feeling a situation ship. Like you did not date this person because you don't have a chance. You did not get a chance to date this person because of this long distance. But now they really want to work on this. They really want to. You know, like, they really want to end this distance between you and them. Either it's physical, it's mental, or it's emotional. Like, they really want to give you the energy now. They feel like you're the one. They maybe know that you have a lot of options, but they still want to express things. They really want to mend things. And we know that with this Wheel of Fortune, yeah, Queen of Swords, this is you, Libra. You block them, okay? You cut them out. So there could be an age gap between you and this person. You could be a single parent, divorce divorcee or this person could be we also have a knight of pentic knight of cup and the wheel of fortune this is like a offer coming in your way i'm telling you it's it's a it's like this person really want to date you they want to express their love this offer is going to change your life with the wheel here things are going to turn in your favor you're also going to get a uh, you know financially abundant because i feel this person could have a financially abundant they could be very successful in their money or finances this person is a giver, by the way, uh, and they really want to give you their time, their energy, their money. They really want to give you a gift, I'm hearing, for some of you. But this could be a proposal coming and also a gift coming. And I'm also seeing this is like, for me, it's like a water is here. Like this person is very excited to express their feeling. This person could be born into a heart's year of Chinese. But we have a heart and swim. It could be a duck. So this could be important... Um, um, animals for you for some of you it's happening on a full moon yeah you know this person okay like you have a cycles with this person and for others of you you may be trying to move on but this person is still there coming to you this is like universe bringing this person back to you it's like a cycle like universe bringing this person back to you like they need to come towards you because they maybe feel it's a pending karma they can't move on whoever this person is they can't move on from you or vice versa. For some of you, this person could be uh, physically not fit. They could be on a wheelchair. We have a reconciliation. They could be have an accident or something. They could be physically disabled, I'm sorry. Or you could be. We have a reconciliation here. We have a true love. Yeah, this is someone definitely your true love. Like they, they feel like you are their true love. They can't let you go. They want to express, express their love to you. We have a flirt. This could be the one you already met the romantic partner. Yeah, this is someone that who used to flirty with you. Or you maybe think this is flirty person. Like they did not get you serious or they were not serious with you. You maybe moved on from this person. I'm strongly feeling you're not in a communication with this person. So we have a reconciliation. This is someone coming from the past. Because they feel you are their true love. This is a true love, romance of a lifetime. For some of you, this could be your soulmate or twin flame. Because I'm, I don't want to put the label, but yes, it's a divine connection. That's what I can give you the confirmation here. With the angel presence here and with this wheel of fortune. So it's a divine connection. You can't escape it, Libra. Or vice versa if you're dealing with a Libra. So it's a, it's a divine. So this person is going to express their love to you. They really are ready. They want to tell you that they're ready for dating. They're ready for romance. Because I feel this person was not ready before, but now they're ready. We have a flirting energy, so maybe this person is going to flirt with you. Or they may be going to express their feelings to you in, in a flirtiest way. This person could be already flirting with you and you... Oh, I told you, this person want to date you. We have the daddy here. Someone is in a suit, a businessman, a woman. I'm getting now uh, suddenly Capricorn... 
Virgo and Taurus vibes, especially Capricorn and Virgo. Yeah, this is someone who's very um, settled. They have, they are independent. They have a money. They want to give you a gift. To be honest, to be honest, you you may be going to see this person in a different country or state or city. You are traveling to see this person, or they will travel to see you. This person really is ready to date you. I'm telling you. And if you don't have any idea who is this person, you're about to meet this person maybe with this date energy. This is definitely someone who wants to express their love to you. They maybe have a secret feelings for some of you. This could be a work situation too, like someone is having a crush on you. They want to ask you out. They may be flirting already, but you're not getting the signs. But they will now, finally. And for others of you, this is someone coming from the past. Like this is not someone that you dated, but they, you wanted to date this person. And now they're ready. Meeting someone new. So this could be a new person, but this is someone who really ready to date you. Boo. Oh, soulmate. Oh. Oh, this shit is heavy. This is your soulmate. Healthy choices. Okay, so the, either you are making healthy choices about your love life. And this could be your, one of your options. And others of you, they maybe have a choices. And now they really want to make a healthy choice. They want to choose you. Yeah, look at this. Kiss is coming. So this person is going to express their love to you. Like this person is ready to date. Boo. They want to call you boo, my boo. Let's see what are their messages, their intentions. We have, I was scared because I care so much. Yeah, this person did not tell you. Let's see. We have, I really do want us to work out. I told you, this person does not want to let you go. They feel like you're, you definitely have some connection. They feel like they can't let you go. They feel like they need to talk, they need to talk, they need to express, they need to give this relationship a chance because it's worthy. That's what this person feel. Uh, you deserve so much more. So they maybe did not treat you well, but now they want to treat you well. I feel like you're better off without me. So this person may be scared to approach you because they feel like you're not going to accept them. I have not told anyone how I feel about you. This person could be keeping it secret or only to themselves. I regret how I treated you. Yeah, boo, you should. My love for you is eternal. There will only ever be only one you. I feel like it's really over. So maybe this is your energy. You feel like it's over, but not from this person's side. Or maybe they feel it's over. Because they feel like you're not going to give them another chance. Because you may be moving on from them. You may be cut the communication. But this person feel the true love with you. They feel like you are their soulmate. I feel like I, I strongly feel the masculine energy is very dominant here in this reading. So either you are dominant here, masculine, or this person. Like they can't let you go. The masculine is in love and want to date the feminine. So just take what resonates with you. This is your energy. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye. See you later.